We are coming to you live from Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena. And the A-listers are out tonight. You can feel the electricity in the air. Feel it! There's an electrical storm! Luca Bolt just took out their mascot! Lightning blasts all over the place, Grim! This is dangerous! And danger is what this league is all about, Bricks. And the fans, they're loving it. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team stormed the field. The Los Scandalous Dams battle. The Los Scandalous Volts. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I'm a Scandalous I own him and I'll sell him. <laughs> it's a beautiful day for MFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? Well, I'm doing that little hottie who works at Deep Fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And that'll bring up second and one. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. First and ten. Man, how did he screw that up? No one died. Bombs don't kill mutants, Grim. Mutants kill mutants. Second down and ten. and downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up third and one. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. 
The punt goes into the end zone, and it's a touchback. And it's first and ten. It's a zap attack. It's like when you shuffle your socks on a carpet and zap you. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Manji. The new game from Wilton Crabtree. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and two. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. That was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down in a very lot. Wow! Oh. The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the... Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. QB is saying his prayers. Hey, man, I was hanging on his head on now. Hang on my head. <laughs> you know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. down and long and so at the end of the first quarter we've got a scoreless game just like you love life third down and well good luck and he gets three yards on that run Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nice. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. A nice 
from there for eight yards. Second down and two. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. Bring up second and one. Defense goal, one speed. Man, touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Second down in a lot. If you don't hear it coming, it'll not. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Well, thank you. I do my part. was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Ben. It's a 
pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And that is called for a first down. And we're at the two-minute warning. I got to pee. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Ghost. Ghost. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Third and two. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. Yeah, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And it's first and ten. Picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. offense the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock that pass was way off target but i'm pretty sure the qb will blame the receiver as he always does it's not short but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again hmm that's bleak bricks He's got the distance, and the kick is good! When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> First down in a mile. Tell he's a berserker because he's broken at the mouth. Oh, that oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The defense, and he scores! Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. 
The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Chains, that's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. Receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. And it's first and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he snags it for six! Touchdown! Touchdown! They're going for two. Bam! Guilty run for the conversion. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play.
bring up second and one. Oh, man, what a throw. And Sonic Blast just cleared the field for the receiver. Caught for the first down. First and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Okay, I kill. Kill on. I got to get on. I got to get on now. Picking up seven. Third and two. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. and two. They're going for two points. And perfect pass for two points. That's a piece of art right there, Bricks. Yeah, man. The QB turned the defense into an abject mess. Yeah, you're game for talent. I won't even get out of The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit! threatened to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. First down and one. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, and don't those power the grin like a high cool. Let's see if they can 
keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. No, nobody light a match. What's the Trying to impress you. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too mutilated. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league we're mad. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. Madness, madness. Ah, oh, shit. Ballsy, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> and out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice catch. And he oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. There's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer. First and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The ten. Touchdown. And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's Cooper Knight and Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. On a kind of not clenching his cheeks, though. <laughs> They 
want more points, so they're going for two. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Not on the just my balls. Hey, hey, for Sharon Briggs. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And that'll be second down and four. confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. up second and one. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. I will have a civil. I will have a civil. First and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I'm on. I take all you mutants.
They're going for two here. And he finds his target for two. With moves like that, you know he's got a screw loose. Hey, can we get a handyman out there? Somebody? Drew? Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. for nine yards either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller and that'll bring up second and one oh man the defense brought a sack lunch today hey hey they don't eat him not until he's cooked And the D takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. The defense just used their last time out, and there's still plenty of game left to play. Look, well, congratulations. You just played yourself. Memes won't make you cool, Bricks, no matter what your mom says. Rainbow. And it's first and ten. Side kicks the desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. And that, ladies and mutants, is how you recover an onside kick. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass.
Second down, and he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Is the game over yet? I got to go to the vet to have him reattach my big coat to where my tongue was again. It well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. He had it for a second there. And the Los Angeles Falls take the win today. It was a hell of a battle, and they had just enough to cross the finish line. Good thing they got juiced at halftime. I want to get juiced now after listening to you two the entire game. Listen up, guys. The MVP is about to speak. Oh. Once again, the folks at Eagle SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.